First Vice President of Azerbaijan UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador Mehriban Aliyeva arrived at the organization headquarters to attend the conference marking the 80s anniversary of Koishiro Matsura, former UNESCO Director General. First Vice President met with former heads, ordinary and goodwill ambassadors of the organization. Azerbaijan's First Vice President Mehriban Aliyeva made significant contributions to developing Azerbaijan-UNESCO relations. Mehriban Aliyeva, who was named UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador in September 2004 for her merits in the protection and study of Azerbaijan's rich culture, was awarded Memorable Silver Medal by the former Director General Koichiro Matsura in 2008 and Mozart Gold Medal by the former Director General Irina Bokova in 2010 for her care for the world culture and contributions to the protection of Azerbaijan's cultural heritage. The Hidar Aliyev Foundation, headed by Mehriban Aliyeva, is also having very productive cooperation with UNESCO. Thanks to the Mehriban Aliyev's efforts, the examples of Azerbaijani tangible and intangible cultural heritage were included into the relevant lists of UNESCO. Former members of UNESCO, Chairman of the Association George Kutukchen, welcomed Azerbaijan First Vice President Mehriban Aliyeva and other participants of the event. He also read out the letter of congratulations of the UNESCO Director General from 1974 to 1987, Amadou Mahtar Mbao, and from 1987 to 1999, Federica Mayer. UNESCO Director General Audrey Ozolai drew attention to Koishiro Matsuro's contributions to the development of the organization. First Vice President of Azerbaijan, Mehriban Aliva, made a speech at the conference. Madam President of the General Conference, dear Mr. Matsura, dear Irina Bokova, Excellencies, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. I would like first to thank you for the invitation and I am glad to be here at UNESCO among my colleagues and friends. Let me congratulate you, dear Mr. Matsura, on your 80th anniversary and I wish you good health and best of luck. The work that you accomplished when you were Director General of UNESCO deserves our best appreciation. Reforms carried out during your time in office allowed to strengthen the image and prestige of UNESCO worldwide. Your name is always mentioned when we talk about many successful projects, like, for example, International Education for All Program and many others. Under your leadership, the relations between UNESCO and our country, Azerbaijan, became even stronger. With a sense of deep appreciation, we remember your visits to Baku and your personal involvement in joint forums and conferences. I recall your participation at the first international festival, the World of Mugam. In your presence, we laid down the foundation of the State Museum of Azerbaijani Carpet and of the International Mugam Center. Together with you, we inaugurated the Museum of Modern Art. Today, these cultural centers have turned in the most visited place of interest in our capital. In 2007, we have signed the document on joint implementation of project to develop vocational training in Azerbaijan. Then, in 2009, we have signed the agreement on cooperation to ensure strategic goals in protecting intangible cultural heritage. During your leadership, our historical monuments, Baku's old city, Charishar, with Shirvan Shah Palace, and Maiden Tower, as well as Gobustan rock paintings, were inscribed in the UNESCO list of world heritage. The pearls of our music, Muram and Ashik art, were included into the representative list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. It's also thanks to your efforts that back in 2004, I was honored to receive the distinguished title of UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador for Oral and Musical Tradition. And ever since, I tried to do my best to justify the trust shown to me. Dear Mr. Matsura, we highly value your personal efforts in strengthening bilateral ties between Azerbaijan and UNESCO. The history of our cooperation goes back to 1992, when Azerbaijan joined this distinguished organization right after restoring its independence. Since then, Azerbaijan joined and ratified most of UNESCO's conventions and other legal instruments. Today, we participate in the work of UNESCO programs through active representation and contribution. In 2013, our country and UNESCO signed the Framework Agreement on Cooperation in the Fields of Science, 
education, culture and communication. Azerbaijan thus joined the family of donor countries and started to actively support UNESCO programs and projects in least developed countries of which we are very proud. Among us, I would like to emphasize here our modest contribution to achieve quality education in African countries. Dear friends, located in the center of ancient Silk Road, Azerbaijan has a long history as a place where ideals can be shared and people brought together in a friendly environment. As a country situated at the crossroad of civilization, cultures, and religious, Azerbaijan has a lot to offer to the international community in terms of intercultural dialogue, tolerance, and respect toward others. Today, multiculturalism is a national policy in Azerbaijan, and we cooperated with the international community, including UNESCO, in promoting of the values of multiculturalism. I would like to mention here the Baku process initiated by the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, which became a truly global platform for promotion of intercultural and interface dialogue. It was initially put forward as a platform for cooperation between member countries of the Council of Europe and members of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. It was in 2008 that Azerbaijan, as a member of both these international organizations, initiated a meeting of the Ministers of Culture of OIC and Council of Europe in Baku. And this process continues up to date. This year we celebrate 10th anniversary of Baku process. In close partnership with UNESCO, we have successfully organized four editions of World Forum on Intercultural Dialogue within the Baku process, and we are ready to continue this work in the future. Development of human potential is another area to which UNESCO and Azerbaijan both attach big importance. Quality education and culture are key elements for human development. And it is proceeding from this importance that Azerbaijan has chosen the theme of developing human capital, building a better future, when we put <coughs> forward the candidacy of Baku as the venue for the World Expo 2025. And if successful in our bid, we hope to be able to bring the whole world to Baku and to create a truly universal platform for exchange dialogue and cooperation. Azerbaijan show its strong attachment to the values and ideals of UNESCO also through our direct contribution to the protection of world cultural heritage and our proactive humanitarian policy. Let me mention just a few examples in this regard. By constructing a new school for girls, Azerbaijan contributed to the efforts of the international community to deal with the consequences of terrible earthquake in 2005 in Muzaffarabad, Pakistan. In 2011, through an agreement with UNESCO, we participated in the restoration of cultural heritage in Haiti that also suffered from earthquake. Azerbaijan's charity activity aimed at presentation or restoration of the world cultural heritage covers many countries, like Berlin Castle in Germany, ancient monuments in Versailles, church in Law Normandy and Museum of Lourdes in France, ancient manuscripts and catacombs of St. Marcellina and Peter and St. Sebastian in Vatican, Philosopher Hall in the Capitolium Museum in Italy, Trapezitsa Museum in Bulgaria, and so on. Dear friends, I could talk much more about the achievements, a decade-long successful leadership of the Mr. Matsura in UNESCO. But I know that my other colleagues will also have a lot to share with you this morning. At the end, I just would like to mention Mr. Matsura's exceptional human qualities. From my own experience, I can tell that he is someone who on a personal level brings peace in the minds of men and women, and therefore his role in promoting the values and ideals of UNESCO could be hardly to overestimate it. I really feel happy and proud to have met this outstanding person, and I recall with warm memories our excellent cooperation and friendship. Working with you, Mr. Matsura, has always been for me a pleasure and learning experience.
I look forward to our future contacts. Wish you and your family strong health, happiness, and hope to able to welcome you soon in Azerbaijan. Thank you. Irina Bokova, Director General of UNESCO from 2009 to 2017, recalled the important documents adopted by UNESCO during Koushiras Matsura's leadership. Irina Bokova expressed her gratitude to Azerbaijan's first Vice President, Mehriban Aliyeva, for her support during her mandate. Chairman of the UNESCO General Conference, Zohor Alawi, talked about the contributions made by Koushira Matsura to developing intercultural dialogue and multiculturalism, underlined the importance of the spheres declared as priority by him. Chairperson of the Executive Board from 2009 to 2011, Eleonora Mitrafanova, presented Peace, Friendship and Cooperation Medal to Koushira Matsura for promoting peace among nations in the world. Letter of the U.S. Ambassador at the UNESCO from 2004 to 2008, Luis Oliver, was also read out at the event. Afterwards, UNESCO Honorary and Goodwill Ambassadors Mariana Vartinayanis, Setsuk Setsuka, Kolosovska de Rola and Bahia Hariri underlined Koishira Matsura's contributions to enhancing the UNESCO's activity. Koishira Matsura shared his memories on his leadership at the UNESCO. He expressed his gratitude to Azerbaijan's first Vice President, UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador Mehri Banaliva, for pleasant words about him and underlined numerous significant projects implemented with her support. Recalling his invitation to the Baku summit of the Turkic-speaking states in 2000 by the nationwide leader Heydar Aliyev, Koichira Matsura said during his visit he met with Mehri Banaliva. Discussions were held during the meeting on the presentation of the examples of Azerbaijani tangible and intangible cultural heritage to the UNESCO World Heritage List. Koichira Matsura underlined that on the initiative of Mehri Banaliva, a number of examples of Azerbaijani culture had been included into the UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage. He thanked the first Vice President of Azerbaijan for his support for the protection of cultural heritage as the UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador. Koichira Matsura said he had reached memories in Azerbaijan, expressed his gratitude to the Azerbaijani government for inviting him to the Baku Humanitarian Forum to be held in our country this October. On May 18th, First Vice President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador Mehri Banaliva, met with the UNESCO Director General Audrey Azulay in Paris at the organization's headquarters. UNESCO Director General Audrey Azulay thanked Azerbaijan's First Vice President Mehri Banaliva for attending the event on the 80th anniversary of Kuchira Matsura. She said the event reflected not only Kuchira Matsura's 80th anniversary, but also the UNESCO's mission, goals and activity. Director General Audrey Ozolai said having been elected to the post, she learned more about the rich history of Azerbaijan-UNESCO relations, noted that the bilateral relations were developing. She said that during her activity, she would contribute to the development of the bilateral relations. UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador Mehri Banaliva spoke about the Baku process. The initiative of Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev underlined that this year marks the 10th anniversary of the process. First Vice President said the next World Forum on Intercultural Dialogue would be held in Baku in 2019. Over the recent years, Azerbaijan has made significant contributions to the UNESCO initiatives and activity by hosting significant events, participating in various projects on education, science and culture. Mehri Banaliyeva expressed her gratitude for inclusion of the examples of Azerbaijani cultural heritage into the UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage. Azerbaijan's first vice president, Mehri Banaliva, said this here marks the 100th anniversary of Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. She said over the past 100 years, Azerbaijan had gained a number of achievements. The most important of them was the suffrage right granted to the women, which is in line with the goals, objectives and mandate of the UNESCO. Discussions were held on the events to be held jointly with the UNESCO this year. UNESCO Director General Audrey Ozolai said she would support the upcoming events. She praised the celebration of the 100th anniversary of Azerbaijan Democratic Republic and achievements gained. First Vice President Mehri Banaliva invited Director General Audrey Ozolai to Azerbaijan.